Hello, Ellen Mara Collins, 1966 here, and today we are going to be making some orange tea biscuits. So in this bowl, we have four cups of all-purpose flour and a cup of butter. So we're going to combine the flour and the butter using a pastry cutter and what we're looking for is just a nice coarse um, texture here. You can use your hands as well, but this is so much easier. So just clean it up as you go. So there you have it, it's uh, butter and flour. So to the butter and flour, we're going to be adding some other dry ingredients. We're going to be adding one cup of granulated sugar. Now you don't have to use a full cup, you can decrease that to your liking. And we're going to add a cup of coconut and I always use the unsweetened medium coconut. So I'm going to get a cup of coconut. And again, you can use less because I hear that coconut tends to dry things out. So in that event, if you want a nice moist tea biscuit, you uh, decrease the coconut. And some people are allergic to coconut, so. Um, and to that, we're going to be adding two tablespoons of baking powder. So I better get the tablespoon. There we have it. And as you've heard me say so often, I always use magic baking powder. It's the only one that I can get really good results with. And we're also going to be adding a cup of sultana raisins. And we're just going to give that a big old stir here. To the dry ingredients, we're going to make a little well in the dry ingredients, and we are going to add one can, a 10 ounce can of mandarin oranges with the juice, and I had I used a fork and kind of destroyed the mandarins, kind of tore them all apart, uh, mashed, <laughs> mashed mandarin oranges. And uh, that way you get a little bit of the orange throughout the biscuit. So we're just going to toss that in the well. To that, we're also going to just add a couple of eggs. Right in on top of the mandarins. And I'm going to grab a fork and before I mix all that up, I'm just going to very lightly whisk the oranges and the eggs right in the middle of 
the dry ingredients. That kind of shortens the original uh, recipe, which says you should drain the oranges, whisk the eggs and the juice, and then add orange pieces itself later. So why go through all that when you can just do it this way, save time, and it's so much easier. So there you go. Done. So that's the way I do it. So we've uh, added the oranges and we've added the eggs. And we're also going to toss in a spoonful of vanilla, eyeball it. As you know, I tend to eyeball a lot of things when it comes to bacon. And uh, there we have it. A quick look at the recipe here. Flour, sugar, eggs, raisins, coconut, butter, bacon powder, oranges, and vanilla. Done. That's everything. So we're just going to stir all this up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and incorporate all those dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, so we're back, guys. And this is what the mixture will look like. It's, uh, it's thick because we did use four cups of flour. So what I found was the juice and the oranges wasn't enough moisture to hold it all together. So what I did was added maybe a quarter cup of orange juice. And of course that will again add to the flavor of the tea biscuit. So what we're gonna do, you can, if you wanted to, you can roll them out on a floured surface. You can use, you know, your biscuit cutter or whatever. Um, what I've decided to do, is I'm just gonna move this to the side and we're gonna use a cookie scoop. This is a medium cookie scoop. So it's about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half. And what we have here is parchment paper. I found these at the dollar store. Already cut, perfect size for the cookie sheet. So how good is that? That's a 16 and a half by a 12 and a half. So it's ideal, it's convenient. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our cookie scoop and we're just gonna pull it out like this and we're gonna drop it on the cookie sheet. How easy is that? I've made these several different ways. I've gotten my hands into the flour and the butter and kind of made the coarse crumbs that way. Um, I did as the recipe called for. I separated the juice and the fruit and did all that. And uh, you know what? They work out the same every time. So if there's some way I can do it to save time and make it simpler, hey, that's what I'm all about. So this is the way we're gonna do it. And we're gonna pre, we have our oven preheating at 375 and we're gonna bake these for, may, I'm saying 15 minutes. It might be a little too long. I'll check them at maybe 12 minutes and um, we'll just get them nice and brown and uh, we'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, folks, so this is our first batch done. And if you wanna see, they turn really nice on the bottom. They they look like they might be burnt, but no. I kept them in for 15 minutes, actually. And uh, they're really good, they're really good. We have this tray ready to go. We have another tray in the oven. And we also have this much left. So folks, this is a really nice batch of tea biscuits. So tasty. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, try them. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.